Hello book fighters, it's Thursday, October 7th, and I just want to start by saying I'm sorry for this video. My my camera died, and I don't have time to charge it, and then film and edit and all of that nonsense before I have to go, because I have a bunch of stuff that I have to do tonight. So this is probably going to be fast and not very good, and I'm sorry, but... There's nothing I can do about that right now. Um, so this week I read It's Too Late to Say I'm Sorry by Joey Camo. Uh, it's a collection of short stories. And it is excellent. It's one of my favorite books. Um, I love anything Joey Camo does. He also does the webcomic A Softer World, which I will link down in the, what are we calling it, the bookshelf? It's going to be down in the bookshelf. And uh, you should definitely check that out. I've been reading it for years, and it's it's one of my favorite things on the internet. So check it out. And also make sure to read the alt text, because that makes it all better. Um, yeah, so I guess it's kind of hard to talk about a collection of short stories, because it's not one cohesive plot like a novel. Um, so you can really only talk about like the running ideas throughout all of the stories, unless you're going to talk about each one individually, which I'm not going to do. Um, I guess you could say that it's about love gone awry, but not in your romantic comedy kind of way. Not, you know, boy meets girl, there's some trouble along the way, but it all works out in the end. Or girl gets dumped by boy and feels really sad and then realizes she's an empowered woman and meets a new boy or whatever. Um, it's, it's kind of about the different ways in which love is damaging and, and how people are weird about love. And, and you know, it's, it's not all negative either. It also has some really positive points in here. Like, yes, people are crazy, but love is awesome, I guess you could say. Um, and... I don't know. It's just great. And the stories are clever, and some of them are really funny and lighthearted, and uh, some of them are really kind of sad and pointed, and um, you'll, you have office romances right next to zombie stories, right next to sci-fi dystopias, so there's something in here for everybody. I don't care who you are, you will like at least one story in this book, unless you just don't like things, which we've discussed before. But, yeah, everyone should like this. And there's actually quite a few of the stories from this book um, already online that were posted in literary journals and the like. Um, so I will link you down in the bookshelf again to my favorite story um, called Where Are You Off To Now? I, it, it's, like, it's really funny. It's not this deep epic tale. It's just, it's just a funny story. But it makes me laugh every time, and it will make you laugh. So read it. Read all of his other books, but especially this one, because it's my favorite. Um, that's all I have to say about that one today. So next week I will be reading the definitive book of body language um, by, some, by these people. Um, and because I'm in the mood for some nonfiction, I guess. So that's you will hear about next week. Um... And I don't think anybody asked any questions, so that's going to do it. Yeah, all right, that's all. Julia, I will see you tomorrow. Best wishes.